Listen, le bon ton roule. Come on in here, girl, and learn how to make this gumbo roux. Woo, child. I want to show you how I make this rich brown silk gumbo roux. This recipe is so easy. All you need is an equal amount of vegetable oil. Some people like butter. I prefer oil. And flour with a couple of pinches of salt, a lot of patience for about an hour long, a helping hand, and if you're lucky, you have a robot stirrer that can take some of the stress off of standing in the kitchen for an hour to make this roux. But let me tell you, if you take your time and make your roux, everything is going to be just fine. Your dish will taste like magic. And the darker your roux gets, the nuttier the flavor, the the better your gumbo is going to taste. I got to warn you, it is extraordinarily hot. This is not something you should have a child in the kitchen helping you do. If this hot grease splashes on your arms while you are stirring it, you will have severe burns. So be careful about that. This is a process that you're going to do very slowly. You're going to gradually add the flour into the roux, into the oil, stirring it as you go along until you get all of the flour incorporated into the roux and you continue to stir in a slow, rhythmic motion. Now listen. You can't walk away from this and leave it unattended because if it scorches, you're going to have to toss it out and start the process over because there's nothing worse than a burnt roux in a gumbo. Every Creole Cajun dish that has a sauce to it, even if it's a white sauce, starts with the base of a cooked roux. It may not be this dark brown, but they all start with some form of a roux. So you want to be patient when you are making this. You want to take your time, do it nice and slow, maybe play a little bit of Freddie Cool, Freddie Jackson while, you, while you're playing it nice and slow. If you've got an adult or a teenager who's able to come in and take over the stirring while you do something, then you might want to bring them in the kitchen, girl, because this has got to be done right. Don't skip on doing your roux. Now, let me tell you something. When you're done cooking this roux and you have this rich, nutty brown flavor, make sure that you allow your roux to cool all the way down before you put it into a hot pot. Let's say you've already had some of your seafood cooking and it's hot. If you put that hot roux uh, in that hot pot, you're going to shock that gravy and you might not like it. It's going to clump up on you. But if you let it cool all the way down, then just be kind enough to it and let it slide on in there. Mmm, more and more, you are going to be happy. 